previously on the Novimpia channel. Don't show the bin. <laughs> and coming up. They didn't like it. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimbia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get early access, exclusive content, and buyer's remorse. And a merry buttmas to our brand new patrons, Joseph Man of War, Maggie Brinklow, Eddie Dean Parker II, Charlotte A, Mangrovian, and Andy Hodgson. Let's start the shit show. Merry Christmas! I'm not gonna eat my tea! Oh, right then. Okay, I'm very, very excited! Stop this, thank you for joining me. Welcome to my annual Christmas cooking segment. Now, if you've not really been here for very long, maybe you're thinking of leaving soon, I wouldn't blame you. Every Christmas time, your girl, Olympia, likes to do sort of a Christmas moment in the kitchen. There's a lighter in this saucepan. My wish come to I didn't put this in. Piss! It's just piss! <laughs> And there's been no success stories so far. Nothing at all. It's all been dog shit. <laughs> no one opens the door. What is it? No one opens the door for a native New Yorker. <laughs> That's been in my head for days. Okay, as per usual, I'm in the kitchen and the boiler's gonna go and the fridge is gonna go and everything's gonna go. So you best just go. So apologies about the sound. I'm not gonna to speak too loudly because I've got two guinea pigs in the uh, li living room at the moment, Nova and her sister, Rachel, who are gonna be sampling this very, very soon. Incidentally, Rachel is gonna be cooking dinner for us tonight. She's a bisexual vegetarian who spent a lot of her life living in Brighton. So this is not gonna be the worst thing that we're gonna eat today. It's like my Christmas attire. Look at that, oh my God, it's so stupid. Look at it, I'm having so much fun in the kitchen. It's green and it's red. Because it's Christmas. Red and green it makes for Christmas. I don't own Christmas stuff. Look at this though. Yeah, go for it, girls. Okay, so here's the deal. I am aware that the TV show Friends is problematic as you like. It does not hold up very well. Ross is an absolute monster and it really wasn't even that funny. Like nobody really laughed out loud that much. But anyway, I've wanted to make this for a very long time. And I know that in the TV show Friends, which I've done a podcast about it recently. Wow! No one opens the door for a night of New Yorker. Native New Yorker. Wendy Williams. Um, <laughs> oh, she was so shit on that. Did you see Wendy Williams on The Masked Singer? Yorker. Everyone knows that the, the TV show Friends is not held up very well, but today we're going to make the English trifle that Rachel Green makes in Friends. So the deal is, she made it for Thanksgiving, but I'm just repurposing this for Christmas time. It was sort of a request from one of our cult elder patrons. <coughs> Shout out Johnny, he was like, you should do like a mashed potato sculpture. And I was like, well, I could do something slightly savory, but I'm gonna sort of like fuck it up a bit. So it was for Thanksgiving, but we're gonna do this for Christmas. So what she did is she made a traditional English trifle, which I've got all the bits for it here, which they're not, it's not really traditional. I don't know what she made, but it, I, this is like, there's jam here. Trifles don't have jam in them. That's not romantic. That's not romantic. But she makes a trifle and she also, she her recipe book, the pages get stuck together. So she makes half an English trifle and half a shepherd's pie. So it's like a layer of like, there's lady fingers. I'll do the recipe in a bit and like cream and jam and stuff. But she does a layer of beef sauteed with peas and onions. So I'm gonna put that together. Now here's the sort of stipulation for this. Because it's probably gonna taste like a bag of butt, I'm not gonna make a huge thing. I'm gonna try and put it into this nice Tupperware. Do you remember Tupperware? <laughs> Do you remember Tupperware? Do you remember when your mum would have like a Tupperware party? They were all the rage, like the 80s and 90s, you'd have a Tupperware party. But there was secretly like a bra and panties match as well. Like your mum would get like a sell a bra in your living room to make like 30 quid. It's worn, it's just actually a G-string worn back the front, but it's a personal favourite of mine. Tupperware was a thing once. Anyway, so I'm gonna put it in this. It'll be sort of like not very big because I do plan on eating around a lot of this because I hate wasted food and I have pre-prepared my sauteed beef, onions and peas. Here's a really adorable clip of me sort of frying it up earlier on. I actually don't know what sauteed means. I've just as literally assumed that sauteed means fried. Oh fuck, I've already fucked it up before. For a native New Yorker. No one opens the door! 
sauteed. Sauteing, jumped, bounced, in reference to tossing while cooking, is a method of cooking that uses a relatively small amount of oil in a shallow pan. Yeah, it's frying. It's just a prick's way of saying to you fried it. So I've, I've, pre, I've pre fried it, but I haven't used real beef because, again, that seems incredibly wasteful to me. Also, those two are vegetarians and they're going to be the victims here. So I feel like I should have used, I've used corn. Uh, mince because real beef that just seems very wasteful and just bad all round. So it's only gonna be small. I'll put this in the fridge because it's a cold dessert. No one opens the door. For native New Yorker. Can you see it? That's so cute. Look at that. Ooh, that smells delicious. It, I'm thinking this is gonna be horrendous though. Let's just jump right into it. I've got head here with me, acting like a native New Yorker. Oh. Hello, head. Head. Can just, you can't even see her. She'll go there, that's cute. Okay, so the recipe is as such. Let's have a look. How long have I wasted? I haven't even fucking put anything in yet. I don't know what lady fingers are. I think they're sponge fingers. So let's put, isn't a, a lady finger just like a rusk? It says boudoir on it. Boudoir, that's rude. Bedroom, does that mean bedroom? So a lady, a sponge finger is a finger like this. What? I don't know what they're for. Isn't this a rusk? Don't you give this to a baby to suck on because they can't do anything but just like suck the finger. Suck my <laughs> Suck mommy's finger. Okay, well anyway, it calls for that. They're gonna stay hard though, aren't they? I'm sure you're supposed to soak these so they go soft, but anyway, let's put them in. Oh, actually, they're, they're a very pleasant aftertaste. Okay, oh no, I should put them upside down because then if something goes on top of it, it might like soak in better because there's sugar on one side. Am I supposed to oil the, the tin? There's no tin. Try. Okay, layer of jam. So I've got two kinds of jam here. I think I'm gonna go with the red because it will look more, it might hide the beef, beef a bit better. Oh, this is wet. This is wet. But this is the thing because trifle does not have jam, it has jelly, which I just realized might be because we call, what Americans call, no wait, how does that work? What Americans call jam, they call jelly. So maybe they thought it was the other way around. They, they fucked it up. Trifle does not have jam in it, does it? This is not a trifle. What is this? It's dog shit. Can you see that? So long as it has a bit of, I don't know, something palatable to it. What is that? I'm just hoping that they soften up a bit because otherwise it's like, what have I, what have I even made? Is this cooking? Are we, I don't know if this is, I don't know. The only thing I know at the moment is that nobody opens the door for a native New Yorker. Oh. Okay, so we've got lady fingers and we've got jam. Custard, which I am not gonna make from scratch because I'm not a dickhead. I was going to meet them halfway and get, because she was very excited, wasn't she, Rachel? She was like a layer of custard, which I made from scratch. Mm -hmm. I was gonna get the powder and maybe like mix it up because that sort of counts. Oh God, I do love custard though. <sighs> layer of custard, layer of custard. No one opens the door for a layer of custard. Do you find me appealing? Oh, <gasps> custard is so good, you guys. Have you guys ever tried custard? Are you aware of custard? Are you aware of Garfield? I love custard. That's too much. That's too much custard. It does. I think some jam got in the beef. It doesn't really matter if you if the layers mix a tiny bit. You don't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm more concerned with why these lady fingers are rock solid. What I think I'm going to do is pre-prepare some spoons for them because if they try and get into it, they'll see the beef. Okay, okay, raspberries. I'll put some raspberries. I don't know. I, do people like raspberries? I feel like raspberries are just like a con. I haven't had a raspberry in a very long time. Am I supposed to wash these? I'm not going to. Raspberries have like a really sort of like furry, squishy sensation to them. They're fine in an emergency, but who's choosing them? Okay, well, anyway, we'll put some into the trifle. Just a few, because I'm only gonna create some spoonfuls for them. That'll do, I think that's okay. I'm not gonna eat my tea. I think what I'm gonna do is 
only have the one layer of lady fingers because they're so hard. I don't, hang on a second. Maybe there's actually like a, that's the ingredients, but maybe there's a, an actual recipe here. Oh yeah, there is a recipe here. What do I do for the lady fingers? What do you do with them though? They've used cake. They ignored the lady fingers and used cake. What is this though? Oh, I'm just gonna carry on. That looks good. I just want to make sure that the beef and stuff is, is like nicely hidden. So here we go. Mushy beef, peas and onions. It's looking like the friends trifle at the moment. Um, could have used a spoon for this. I've now got sort of oniony beef fingers. Oh God. Oh, is it beef? I think it could be beef. I think it could be beef, but I really want to make sure it's nicely. That could be a good spoon that side. I've used my other hand in it. I put my other hand in it. That's disgusting. What have I done that for? Who, what have I done that for? Hmm. Oh yeah. Well, it, no one said that's not good on its own, but, oh, I don't know. I'll just wipe it on me knickers. What do chefs do? They would probably do that as well. With you, I think. Oh, it's bitter as you like. Now, more custard, just to hide it. They're essentially gonna be getting a mouthful of custard and beef. <laughs> Utterly, utterly revolting. Sliced bananas. Sliced banana. Oh my God, World's Strongest Banana Award. Shortlist 2020, this banana. Opened it up weird. I do like bananas. Uh, knife, yes. Also whipped cream. This is whipped cream, isn't it? Made with whipping cream. Whipped, is that technically cheating? I don't know. Okay, the bananas are going in, have a look. Again though, no, they're only eating a spoon, so I'll just do like a couple and then I'll save this for my breakfast. Who am I kidding? It will be a full English. Oh, there's a bit of onion. There's a bit of onion. That took flight. That got thrust. Thrust. Do you remember chicken run? Okay, and now whipped cream. I'm gonna need to get them in here, I think quite quick to, um, to so they can sample it. Oh, I'm really nervous though. No one opens the door for native New York home. <laughs> What even is that song? It's a Wendy Williams original. Did Wendy Williams release music? I don't know who sang I'm a great big fucking awful bitch. What I think I'm gonna do actually is once I've prepared the spoons, I'm just gonna squirt this on the top so it really hides it, but also it maintains, because I feel like if you squirt squirty cream, after a while it just disintegrates and I really don't want to reveal the beef. Show me the fucking beef. Well, not bad. What is that on there? Why is there, che I've not put cheese in this. Rogue cheese. The banana comes through. Like banana is a very prominent flavor, isn't it? But apart from that, it's the onion. It's banana and onion, which I don't think are two animals that really interact in the wild. So this is this seems very wrong. I'm very excited to bring, I'm bringing Tupperware back. Do you remember how Alexandra Burke brought elephant in the room? That saying it's really a metaphor to europe well why not be the first person to kind of bring it over here i'm bringing back tupperware i'm introducing the world to tupperware especially if it's tupperware which has got like a thin layer of orange around the bottom because you put it in the microwave to do baked beans and now it's just like revolting that you won't throw it away this christmas throw away your tupperware okay i'm gonna try some jam some custard some beef and onion a pea and a bit of banana and we'll just see what happens all right Oh my fucking Christ. I will tell you now though, jam in a trifle is revelatory. I feel like the fact that the jam is so strong makes up for the fact that it's got beef in it. Oh, actually a bit of onion I found. Oh. Um, I didn't have it with cream though. I think it'd be fine. Do you know what? I feel like it might be one of those things where it's just sort of like, it's like, this tastes quite nice, but there's a weirdness to it that maybe is sort of like a la mode and I'm not used to it. Maybe they eat this sort of thing in France sort of thing, you're expanding your horizons. They might also just sort of like vomit and diarrhea for it. Okay, I'm gonna try and prepare some spoons. Okay, so look, there's, there's two spoons and there's some lovely custard, banana raspberries, um, a bit of lady finger that I sort of scraped off. How are you supposed to use those? I don't know. Don't look at the recycling. God, you're supposed to be concentrating on this. A layer of beef sauteed with peas and onions. So I'm gonna put some whipped cream on top to hide the peas. And then I'll, I'll invite the guests in to sample um, the delicious cuisine. Now, you this must- This looks normal. You must be honest, if it's not very good then. Okay, close the door. But why is there just a spoon of it? Grab a spoon. Where's the, the whole, whole thing, whole thing? Like? I don't want you to see the whole thing just yet. I'll show it to you afterwards. I wanna see the presentation. No. 
I can't. No. Take a spoon. Here we are. It smells like spices. Should I just like go, go for, for it, it, guys? I'm very nervous. Cheers. Why oh, does it smell weird? Is that broccoli? Is that broccoli? Where is I'm that? Okay. Is that broccoli? I made a traditional English trifle. <laughs> I've actually broke. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, it's I a traditional English trifle, so there's a layer of beef sautéed with peas and onions. There's peas in it. Oh, that's vile, that is. Rachel, it's a traditional English trifle. Oh my, what is that? I'm really is that like beef? What is it? I'm really upset because like the cream was really nice and it was like sweet and then you go into it and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's the trifle from Friends. Oh, you haven't. Do you remember Rachel means... makes a trifle and it's got beef and onion in it? Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the one where she gets the pages mixed up and Yeah, the pages get stuck together so she makes half a trifle and did half... Did you do this on purpose? A shepherd's pie. Of course I did it on purpose! So you've, you've made us eat that on purpose? Yes, because you suck, shite. Oh, I'm leaving. That's... That's so it. mean. I can't believe that. This is all just some kind of joke to you. Merry Christmas. That's so, I'm really, really upset. Merry Christmas, Nova. Don't get too close. I've got like shit on me. Where are you going? Come back. Oh my god, that was disgusting. I think I flammed on your bed. <laughs> they didn't like it. I go to so much effort every year. I got so much effort, nobody appreciates it. Merry Christmas to a native New Yorker. <laughs> Excellent, great news. Okay, well, I mean, I enjoyed that. It, this was a different one. This was a bit different because it was like, okay, I have a recipe, which I haven't had before, and it's like I knew this was gonna be bad. Whereas the previous five years, I thought I was onto a winner, honestly. I didn't know. What have we learned? Don't make Rachel's beef trifle from friends. There's some patron birthdays to attend to, so here we are. I'm heartbroken. I'm scone-faced and heartbroken because I missed off David, David Carlin, I'm so sorry. December 14th was your birthday and I missed you. I took this and I plunged it right in your heart. Hope you had a lovely day all the same though, darling. Craig, it, was your, it is your birthday, December 24th. When is this video coming out? Maybe about then. Happy birthday, 24th, that's Christmas Eve, darling. I'm so sorry. Could be worse, you could be Nigeria. December 25th is your birthday, Christmas day. That's, ah, that's shit, that's really shit. Have a lovely day though, darling. You get like twice as many presents, right? You must spend hours opening presents, it never ends. You must hate that though, that must be shit. I would quite like to know. Listen, if you'd like to join us over at the Patron, there'll be a message afterwards, my social media's here, and whatever you do. Look at this. Whatever you fucking do this Christmas, you'll make Rachel's beef trifle before you'll open the door for a native New Yorker. <laughs> For a native New Yorker. Native New Yorker. It could be worse, couldn't it? Like, I could be singing. What was that other fucking shit? Shake your love. Shake your love. Shake it up, baby, baby. I just can't shake. Oh, don't do that. Join the Patron. We'll do a shot of Patron. No one 